B. A B. A B. B. Instead of with will. <laughs> Not a fly. <laughs> to fly. A B with the apple. <laughs> so the apple <laughs> is going to code lots of things because what do we do with the apple? <laughs> we eat the apple. That's right. We eat the apple. Okay, so when we press this one, we're going to get the verb eat and we can feed somebody an apple. So we get feed. We're hungry. So hungry. An apple can be delicious or awful. Okay? And it also grows. We grow an apple. Now, when we get the grow, we're going to find out what's gonna, what's up with this bee. Oh, are we? No. Well, you can keep it like, or is as long as oh, there, you return them. There's, there's our bee. Okay? To be or not to be <laughs> is put with so the bee. Yeah. We get the bee, it's still active, we get the verb bee. Okay? So, oh, let's look at that one. It's a little bit more complicated. Because we've got the eat and feed, but we've got two things that are capital off of that. So we can go okay, off on the branch of things growing, like apples grow on trees, and we've got the bee to be or not to be. We've got two branches off of capitals. So that we, we it's a little bit more complicated. Okay. Knowing that the capital letters will lead you somewhere, we know that we're not going to get B when we hit that, but it's going to take us to the verb to be. Okay? Um, let's look at the top row with these ones. Okay? First hit, the top row changes to food choices. That's where you're going to get all the food choices. There's a food page, but there's also lots of categories of types of food. Okay, so that's how the top row, the activity row is changing to give us the fringe vocabulary of different kinds of food. Let's look at it when we hit grow. Nothing associated with grow, that's okay. What's going to happen when we hit B? Containers, how can we make sense of that? Well, I can't carry the B home in my hand. I must put them in a container to take them home. So we can think of different ways that we can associate that to find out where our containers. So if we need to find a box, where are we going to find box? I want a box to carry my B home. So I'm going to go to, to food, and I'm going to go to B, and I'm going to find my box. Okay, so making the connections, making the associations. That's why I say talk things out when you're working with kids. Talk them out because they'll start to make those associations too. When you say them and you do them and you do things um, with them, it helps people remember.